everybody. Happy Tuesday. I am so excited to share a brand new Bruce story with you. This book is Hey Bruce, an interactive book. It's written by Ryan T. Higgins, and we want to thank him for allowing us to share this book with you today. So let's get started. Get ready. Thistle and Nibs were making an interactive book. Hooray! I don't know what that means. Hooray! Me neither. Interactive means the reader will make things happen inside the book. I love readers. What's a reader? I have no idea. Sigh. The reader is who's looking at us right now. We're being looked at, but we're not wearing pants. I can see up the reader's nose. Before we start the book, we need a title. How about the book that does stuff or the interactive book? I can't spell distractive. It's interactive. Let's ask Bruce. He's in a lot of books. Should we ask Bruce? Mm -hmm. Hey, Bruce. Thistle, you shouted over the title page. Now the book needs to be called Hey, Bruce. I kind of like it. Now Bruce has to be in the book. I'll bet he's not happy about this. There he is. Let's wake him up. Let's wake Bruce up so we can start. I know, I know, the reader should do it. Hey reader, please tap Bruce's shoulder to wake him up. Should we do it? Did it work? He's still sleeping. Maybe the reader should tap him again. Go on reader, now don't be shy. Tap Bruce even harder. And it says, tap here, harder. Did we wake him up? Did we? <gasps> Oof! The reader did it. He fell. Hey, Bruce, do you want to be in our book? It's hyperactive. He means interactive. I'm busy napping. <gasps> oh, we can help. Reader, would you gently rock this book back and forth to help Bruce get back to sleep? Should we do it? Rocking him gently. Do you think he's going to go back to sleep? What do you think? Keep rocking. Bigger rocks. Bigger. Shh. Do you think he's falling asleep? He doesn't look very happy. Is he asleep? I don't think so. He's not on his napping log. Reader, tilt the book all the way on its side to help Bruce back on his napping log. Should we turn it? Should we turn it? Is it working? What do you think? Here we go. You can't take a nap from up here, Bruce. Let's go and drop onto your log for a nap. No. Hey, reader, you should give the book a little shake to help Bruce let go. Should we do it? Let's see what happens. Oh no, he missed. Ouch, what did he say, couch? Quick, he wants to sleep on a couch. There's one right over there. Reader, turn the book back upright to make the couch come to Bruce. Should we do it? Bruce does not look happy, does he? All right, let's see. Well, don't worry, Bruce, here comes the couch. Crash. How's your nap? All right, reader, no more falling couches. We're above that sort of comedy. Maybe some music will help Bruce sleep. Reader, press the piano keys to play Bruce a soft lullaby. Do you think you should do that? Do you know how to play piano? Do you? No? All right. Do you think, do you think they're playing soft music? Crash. Where did that piano come from? Does the reader make everything we say fall from the sky? You know, Bruce always falls asleep on the bus. 
Good idea. Let's drop a bus on him. Do you think we should do that? On second thought, maybe Bruce will sleep better if he's wearing cozy pajamas. No, I don't wear pajamas. He prefers to sleep bare naked. Ha ha, get it? Rita, will you please look away so Bruce can have some privacy? I'm not putting these on. Now close your eyes real tight and turn the page. Close your eyes, close your eyes. <gasps> look, what do you think? Do you think he likes his pajamas? Bruce doesn't seem sleepy yet. Maybe he needs some exercise to get tuckered out. Great idea, Bruce should ride a, should ride a unicycle. Reader, lift the book up to get Bruce on that unicycle. Lift it up. Okay. Does anyone know what a unicycle is? A unicycle means it has one wheel. Okay. Yes! All right, and he should be juggling. Reader, move the book in a circle to get him get him going. Let's turn this. Ooh, circle, 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 circle. Nope, I turned it so much I can't even turn the page. <gasps> wow! Hmm, this would be even better on a high wire over a mud pit. Reader, wobble the book back and forth to add a high wire and a mud pit. Ooh. Go, Bruce, go! What do you think's gonna happen now? What do you think's gonna happen? Uh-oh. Look out, Bruce! Oops, Bruce is all muddy. Reader, press the water button to give him a little rinse. Should we do it? See that says H2O? Should we press it? All right, I'm gonna press it hard. Mm. <gasps> ah! Do you see that? Look at them. They have umbrellas and the geese are pretty happy about the water. See that? There, Bruce is clean now. Reader, draw a drain with your finger at the bottom of the page to get rid of all this water. See right here, we're gonna draw, 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 draw. Okay, I'm gonna drain all this water. <sighs> the end. Oh, look at that, the book is over. Good thing we have end papers to clean all this up. I can still see the reader's nose. Poor Bruce, all he wanted to do was take a nap and he was juggling on a unicycle in crazy pajamas and he ended up in the mud. The end. And are you asleep yet, Bruce? Whose idea was this anyway? It was the readers. Readers are messy. Okay, what did you think about this story? Did you find it silly? Did you find it funny? I can't wait to hear what you think about it. So come in and check this book out. I will be back on Thursday with another brand new story that I can't wait to share with you. So until then, everybody have a great couple days. I'll see you back here soon. Bye for now.